snacks over here at the bar. If you haven't noticed, uh, we have some cake and coffee and water. Uh, please uh, get some of that. Uh, also, please don't forget to sign up the, the, the list so that we can get in touch with you after today and uh, get you connected to the next steps. Uh, before we start the meeting, I'd like to invite people to come up here uh, and briefly share the work that they're doing. If you're involved in uh, community organizing, if you're in a labor union and you're not on the program, and especially if you have brought some literature that you would like to share with the group, please um, come forward and tell us a little bit about the work that you're doing so that we can get connected to that work. Hey, I will. So my name is Al Crespo. I published the blog of the Crespo Graham Report. So I'm videotaping this, this meeting, and either by tomorrow or by tomorrow, I will have it up on the website so you all can see. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Roger Craver, I'm a reader of uh, the Crespo Graham, and I'm the head of the Citizens Committee over uh, in Miami and Miami Beach fighting the Watson Island Flagstone Project. We call it the Watson Island Strangler because it's going to cut off traffic, it's going to make all of our lives miserable, and it's one more example of how this city keeps the public out of its uh, own business, how it uh, keeps citizens from speaking up and speaking out. Over on that table is some information and an email sign-up sheet. I hope you'll uh, put your name down so we can keep you posted and uh, hope to be back soon to uh, report a victory. here this afternoon, taking the time to get out and see what's going on in our community. I'm thankful for Callis of Miami. I've been working with them for some time and sent some news about foreclosure fraud that's going on here in the state of Florida. There's a way we can make correction on that talk of conspiracy, which is actually stealing people's equity out of their home. We've been approved by Congress to hold back foreclosure raffles. I brought the state senators here in Florida. And once it gets past legislation as cited for education, we'd be allowed to hold bank foreclosure raffles with disclosure statements, which would stop the division in the community where people can have the right to live where they want and own a home free and clear with no mortgage payment. We'd be able to protect the consumer's cost for face value of the mortgage and not undermine it for a short sale. The consumer would get all their money back and the liens on the property would be paid with reduced deficit. And this can be done to bring security into our communities. I don't have paper. I've been working on this six years, but doing nothing but law and litigation. And the lawyers don't seem to like me much, but we need to get this done and bring it to the public. That's my goal for this new year. I have no paper on the table yet, but I'm going to bring it. I have a license. I just got to write it up for you all. But that's what I'm working on, so we can all have a chance to revive an American dream of education and security. That's my goal. Thank you very much. I wish the best for you Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Bianca Solomon and I'm the organizer down here in South Florida for our Walmart, the organization United for Respect at Walmart. Our current campaign is a minimum of $15 an hour for Walmart workers and full-time hours. Um, so it's great to be here. This is my first meeting and it's, it's really nice to see everyone and this being so packed. Thank you. Hello, I'm David, excuse me, I'm David Perry. I'm the chairperson of the um, Camillus Health Clinic Consumer Advisory Board. We represent the 5,500 mostly homeless patients of um, Camillus Health. I also sit on the board of directors of Kimmel Self Clinic. You are very much involved in obviously ending homelessness um, here in Miami. And obviously, homelessness is a huge issue, um, as uh, reflected, I think, in a uh, rather important um, hearing yesterday before the city commission. 
Uh, we're, we're very much um, involved in not only um, eliminating homelessness, but um, providing more uh, opportunities, socioeconomic opportunities for those suffering from substance abuse and uh, mental illnesses. So we're very much um, involved and um, interested in meetings like this. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Rhonda Thomas, and I work, I'm the organizer in South Florida for Faith in Florida and PICO. Um, I have some petitions in the rear where we're in a campaign, a state level campaign, where we're fighting for returning citizens' rights to be restored. We have, over, we have about two million citizens in the state of Florida who have served their time, paid their debt to society, and still cannot vote. So we need 100,000 signatures throughout the state to get go before Tallahassee for review because we're trying to get it on a 2016 ballot where registered voters can decide whether returning citizens can get their rights restored. This does not include sexual offenses or anyone that has committed a murder. So we're asking, I'm asking, if you would just stop to the rear, if you believe in second chances, I do believe that if two million people can vote in the state of Florida, it can change the dynamics of this state. So if you can stop by, sign a petition, leave the petition there, because we're steady co uh, collecting them, because we're approaching a deadline in the month of April. So we need the support of everyone. Thank you. Hello, my name is Laura. Um, I work for McDonald's, and I'm here for the fight for 15, the Florida fight for 15. Uh, I feel like that, you know, if, if um, I, I should be able to go to the store and not be able to budget, make, you know, budget my money, I should be able to do anything in life that the next person is doing, you know, like the owner of a big uh, multi-million dollar uh, corporation, you know, and I should be able to have what they're doing right now and the fact that we are. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Laura. I work for Chipotle, and I'm also a fast food worker. And I, as Ms. Laura said, we're here with the 5 for 15 campaign. And we are going on strike April 15th. And we are bringing home. <laughs> it's going to be our biggest strike. We're incorporating home health, home health care workers, child care workers, adjunct professors, and yes, so I'm excited and a change needs to be made and we have to fight for it. We have to speak up, we can't stay quiet. That's right here. And we also have... Well, I'm Wesley, so I'm with the fight. <laughs> and we're asking that, we, we appreciate a lot of support from the people here, you know, if anybody yeah. could just come out and just, you know, be supportive with us. We appreciate that dearly. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Juan Cuba. I'm with SEIU State Council. I just want to, uh, well, first thank the fast food workers for coming out, but also want to highlight uh, please save the date for April 15th. We are going to have a massive demonstration in downtown Miami. Uh, around 5.30. The details are not finalized yet, but please save the date for April 15th. Uh, we are going to be fighting for higher wages. We are going to be fighting for 15. Uh, I feel like our elected officials in Miami, uh, idea of economic development is to give millionaires and billionaires a lot of money, hundreds of millions of dollars, and they forget that Miami is the second in food stamps, second in income inequality around the country, and we're going to show them on April 15th that the real priority should be the people. So thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Andre Williams, CEO, founder of iUrbanTV.com, a visual production media company, and the new founder of Overtown Media Hub. At the Overtown Media Hub, we provide a place for creatives to come in and produce creative visual productions in the area of Overtown. We cater to the area of Overtown, providing positive imagery and assisting in the rebranding of Overtown so that people have different thoughts, different concepts, and different beliefs about Overtown. 
We also make sure that we appear at the board meetings as well, just so that we can be very transparent as to what's going on in the community of, of Overtown. We host a end of the month talk series called the No Boundaries Community Talk Series, where we offer people in the area of Overtown and from around areas of over, surrounding neighborhoods of Overtown to come and express their thought process, beliefs, or the injustice, or whatever they want to express about the developments that are going on in Overtown. And we also put a media production on it as well so that we tape it, and then we try to make it available to the public so that they can see exactly what people think about it. Um, some of those uh, productions we do, we plan on parlaying them to the higher-ups or the people, the developers, so they can know exactly um, what the community thinks. I am also Vice President of the Overtown Business Association, and we're going to be working very closely with the Overtown Advisory Board in regards to this. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kadrian Young. I'm working with the American Heart Association to increase access to fresh and healthy food throughout the state of Florida. We are going to implement the Healthy Food Financing Initiative here that's going to allow us to build new grocery stores, to upgrade community stores so that there are more healthy food options directly in these communities. Um, we really need support to make this issue really urgent and pressing. So I'm going to have a sign-up form in the back. Please, please sign up so we can um, work together to really make this happen. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Santiago Leon, Sandy to my English-speaking friends. Um, I'm engaged in a battle to reform the delivery of health care in Miami-Dade County in South Florida generally. You may or may not be aware that we have the highest cost of health care in the country, 20% above uh, the national average, and most of this is due to people receiving services that they did not need and that might even put them into danger. So, if you are interested in this, if you have something to say about any group health plan in particular, union plan, uh, labor plan, management plan, uh, please talk with me sometime this afternoon and uh, I will bring you up to speed on what we're doing. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sandra Dennis. I am with Calus Miami. I'm the community health director. And I would be remiss if I didn't remind everyone that special enrollment for the Affordable Care Act begins next week, April, I'm sorry, March 15th through April 30th. So people who were penalized for not having health insurance on their taxes have um, another opportunity to enroll. Um, at Calus Miami, we do have navigators, so if you want us to come out to your organizations, if your people are not able to come during business hours, we're ready and available to go out to your organizations and assist that way as well. Um, I have cards. Please see anyone. Um, please see me afterwards if you're interested. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Hi, my name is Justin Wales. I'm with a group called Emerge Miami. Uh, every Tuesday, we meet at Sweat Records. We are uh, local organizers and grassroots activists who are here to help you guys in organizing, in uh, you know, coming up with publicity for your events and for your causes. So if anyone needs help trying to you know, get a, a grassroots uh, um, movement going, please come and, and see us every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. at Sweat Records. Hi, good afternoon. Good evening. My name is Yannick Lendes. I'm a home ownership counselor. I uh, help people get access to uh, home ownership. So if you're still renting, it's time for you to think about becoming a homeowner. Uh, please call us. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can write our number, 305-751-5511. My extension is 1104. Call and find out if you can qualify for a house, for financial assistance, for grants to buy a house. The next home buyer workshop will be done here in Overtown at St. John Missionary Baptist Church, and it's at 1328 Northwest 3rd Avenue. It will be on March 28th. If you forget the date, just call, and I will uh, find out, I will help you find out if you can get a home. 305-751-5511. 
305-751-5511, extension 1104, and the website is www.nhssf.org. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Kendisi. First of all, um, thanks to Brad for um, bringing everyone together, man. Brad, we really appreciate it. This movement is definitely needed. Um, for the majority, uh, the Green Party, everyone this here has actually come together for the sake of building Miami and making it better. Definitely thank you. I do live blogging, so this means that as things progress, I will be putting things on different social media, showing people, encouraging them to be similar to us, to come out and support the different events here um, in Miami, especially these, you know, uh, these gatherings. You know, so um, definitely thank you, and thank you to my uh, my uh, great friend right here, uh, Mr. Crespo. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Good evening to all of you, our leaders here. We are honor you. My name is Reverend Gary Johnson, president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, where we're the free, we're the free, the leaders of the free South. And uh, we had a very successful march just recently. I wanted to thank Mr. Core, Florida Majority, so many other organizations for being a part of me, making it successful. Um, we have a fight on our hands, and. Um, we were established on April 12th of last year. And uh, I don't remember this gentleman's name in the brown right here. Sitting right here. Yes. Years ago, you gave in support for a struggle and a fight. I never forgot that. I think you own a, a uh, art gallery. And uh, I wanted to publicly thank you because people such as the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. We don't do things for recognition. We do things for results. And those are the kind of people I love that admire the leaders of our community. So we're here to fight for the poor. It's the Poor People's Campaign is back, and it's about economic development. And we're here to support all of you all and looking forward to allowing God to knit our hearts together for victory now in 2016, 2012, on down the line up to 2020. We gotta to continue to fight the fight. God bless you. Anybody else? Good afternoon. My name is Ken Russell. I started Friends of Merry Christmas Park uh, down in Coconut Grove. There are eight contaminated parks in the city of Miami right now that are contaminated from incinerator ash. The incinerators were placed in the poor parts of Miami 50 years ago, 60 years ago, and they carelessly dumped that ash in the open spaces that would then become our children's parks. Uh, so I've been, I won't say fighting, I've been working with the city in a way that is collaborative to change their minds because they did not intend to remove the contaminants. They were declaring all of our parks as brownfield sites, and there is uh, designations on our homes that we live next to contaminated areas. So I started that fight and I'm looking to preserve green space, protect green space, uh, and, and smart development. I'm now running for district commissioner. I'm not here to ask for your vote. I'm here to ask you to vote. People think that the city is owned by developers, and it's not. It's owned by apathy. Less than 6% of people vote. So you cannot complain about what, your governed people, with, with what the people who govern the city do if you don't take part. There's several elections this November. I please invite you to get involved. Find out how to early vote, absentee vote, vote on the day, just whatever you do, vote. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, my name is Grace Olatis. I am going to remove this because I didn't come here to do politics. I came here to support every single one of you, as I have been doing for the past 20 years. 
I've been an activist in the city of Miami, fighting for the quality of life and for justice and for responsible wages for everybody in this city. So I am here today, my name is Grace Solaris. I'm a very good friend of um, Brad. We've known each other for a long time and we've been fighting issues actually for the protection of the quality of life of the city. Uh, for the actual things that the city of Miami does that sometimes are totally anti-residents of this city. So I am here today so that the event, I can do anything for you. As an activist of the city, that I've been here for 20 years, please come and see me because I am at City Hall almost every two weeks bringing something to the city of Miami having to do with the benefit of the residents. Thank you so much.